While we may not ever scientifically learn exactly what ignites life to even exist, you may still have questions such as, where did life come from? Where did it originate from? Of which there are many interesting theories on this subject. However, those theories will not be discussed here. Humanities, theology, and philosophy is where to go for that type of discussion. The purpose of the Health Science Technology Principles course is to only address what scientists so far have discovered. So far, scientists have discovered that there are six common elements that make all life possible on this planet, and that all living organisms here must satisfy six basic functions of life, that is, if they are to sustain life throughout its assigned life cycle. In this series, we will learn about the human cell structures and their specific functions each must perform and complete in order for the human organism to stay alive and healthy throughout its expected life cycle. As stated before, we can only discuss what has been scientifically learned through the study of biology, a term which means the study of life. So, let's begin where the scientists begin. The basic substance of all life is protoplasm. Protoplasm is found in all living things. It is composed of six ordinary elements, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, hydrogen, and phosphorus. It is the protoplasm that creates the basic unit of life, which is the cell. Its structure and its six basic essential functions required for life. How do these cells form? It's important to know, according to science at least, that they started out as atoms or ions, such as the ones found in the protoplasm. Then they became molecules, a composite of atoms or ions exchanging nutrients such as water, sugar, and proteins. Then, under a scientifically unknown process of life, organelles were formed, each with a specific assigned function, such as the mitochondria and the nucleus. The organelles became the essential components of the cell. Not all cells are alike, or contain the same organelles, or even continue reproducing, as you will later learn as we move through the various organ systems. The differentiation of cells occur, and like cells will come together and create the four basic tissues for the human organism. These tissues will further become more specialized to form organs such as the heart or the liver. These organs will come together working cooperatively and uniformly to form organ systems, working in harmony to produce what scientists have labeled as the living human organism. The question here is, how do these cell and tissues know what to do? Well, if all goes well, and no unexpected or deliberate internal or external cause comes into the picture. The credit for directing the formation of the human organism once all the players are in is given to the DNA, which is contained in the organelle known as the nucleus. The assigned DNA of each cell is responsible for directing where it goes and what role it will play within the human organism. The DNA, much like a movie director, is responsible for telling the actors what role they will play, where to go, and how to do it, according to the written script contained within itself. Cells are microscopic structures that carry on all the functions of life. In fact, an adult human body is composed of approximately 75 to 90 trillion cells. That's amazing. And what's even more amazing is that within each of these six basic functions, there is a host of up to a million supporting chemical exchanges that need to occur within each cell and with one another in order to sustain life. Let's give our bodies the credit it deserves. We don't even have to think about it. It does it all on its own. The only thing we need to think about and be responsible for is to learn how to keep our bodies working and functioning as it was designed to be healthy. But for now at least, all we need to learn about the cell 
are its six basic functions. Take in food and oxygen. Produce heat and energy. Move and adapt to their environment. Eliminate wastes. Perform special functions. And reproduce. The next step in the formation of the human organism is that, like cells, join to form tissue. There are four main groups of tissues. The epithelial covers the surface of the body. It forms the lining of the intestinal, respiratory, and urinary tracts, as well as other body cavities, such as the cranial cavity. Its main function is to secrete and protect. There are two types of connective tissue, hard and soft. Hard consists of bone and cartilage. The bone, or osseous tissue, is responsible for forming the skeleton structure of the human body. Cartilage is a tough, elastic structure that is found between the bones and in the nose, ears, and the larynx. Soft connective tissue includes adipose or fatty tissue. Its function is to store fats for reserve or to use as energy, and it insulates the body. Soft connective tissues include structures such as tendons and ligaments. The main function of these structures is to help hold major body structures together, such as holding the skeletal and the skeletal muscle systems together. The third main group of tissues are the muscles. There are three main types of muscles. One, the skeletal. Skeletal muscles attach to the bones and provides movement for the body. Cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles cause the heart to beat. And third, the visceral or smooth muscles. These are present in the walls of many organs such as the esophagus, stomach, intestine, fallopian tubes, and blood vessels. The fourth main group of tissues are the nerves. Nerves are made up of neurons. These neurons compose the nerves, brain, and spinal cord. The main function is to transmit messages throughout the body. Here's one last interesting fact about tissues. They are 60 to 90 percent water, and water plays a role in all of the body systems. Before we move on, here's a quick review of what we have covered in this video. Protoplasm is the basic substance of all life, and is found in all living things. It is composed of six ordinary elements, which are oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, hydrogen, and phosphorus. Protoplasm creates the basic unit of life, which is the cell, and all the organelles within it. The organelles are the essential components of the cell. The assigned DNA of each cell is responsible for directing where it goes and what role it will play within the human organism. There are six main functions required for life. One, take in food and oxygen. Two, produce heat and energy. Three, move and adapt to their environment. Four, eliminate wastes. Five, perform special functions. And number six, to reproduce. Like cells join to form tissue. There are four main groups of tissue. Epithelial, connective, muscle, 
and nerve. The complexity of the human organism is formed starting with atoms or ions which form molecules. Molecules make up the organelles of the cell. The like cells join to form tissue and tissue is what organs are made of and a group of organs working together make up an organ system of which there are 12. As we move on through this series we will be covering each system in detail. The 12 organ systems are integumentary, skeletal, muscular, circulatory, lymphatic, nervous, special senses, respiratory, digestive, urinary, endocrine, and reproductive. In the next few videos we will be covering the anatomy, physiology, and pathophysiology of the cell.